We knew we'd be talking about all things West Ham. We will be talking more at West Ham in a moment. But that's why, really, we invited this man to come and join us uh, on the show, former West Ham striker. Something of a West Ham legend, in actual fact. Tony Cotty is in studio with Alex and myself. Tony, good morning to you. Morning, Jim. Morning, Alex. What a morning you've joined us in. Through the other side of the glass here, of course, the conversation was dominated by this Kane chat. What do you think? It seems now that he's within touching distance of the Allianz Arena in Munich. Jim, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, <laughs> there is a selfish reason for this as a goal scorer. Um, Harry is one goal behind me in terms of top flight goals. I'm on 2-1-4. <laughs> Harry's on 2-1-3. <laughs> Go to Bayern Munich and you won't get that one goal to, to, to level or two goals to beat me. So, um, I'm so jo- on a I'm personal jo- basis, yeah. you're like, thank goodness for that. I'm joking, actually, Jim, because um, I'll be gutted if Harry leaves because I, I don't want to see our best players leaving the Premier League. You know, Harry's one of the top strikers, if not the top striker, certainly English point of view. Um, I understand it. I understand where Daniel Levy's coming from. I understand where Harry's coming from. He wants to win trophies. He's not playing for money. You know, people always go, oh, he's getting paid a lot. And it's not about money for Harry. He, if he wants to win a trophy, if he goes to Bayern Munich, almost guaranteed, as we know, better chance of winning the Champions League. So I get all that, but I do think it will be sad for English football if he leaves. I mean, Alex, you can see the messages coming in. Many Tottenham fans getting in touch. I'll select one, Patrick, a Tottenham fan. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Kane will not be going to Germany. There, many of them still have the belief they'll say no and stay. Well, I can't think of too many examples where two clubs have agreed a fee, particularly not one of this size, and the player has actually turned his back on the deal. Once it gets to discussing personal terms, usually the moves go through. Probably Jamie Vardy, when he turned down Arsenal after Leicester won yes. the title, is the yeah. last one that springs yeah. to mind. I, I think it is a sad loss to the Premier League. Um, I think it's great for Harry Kane, as you say, Tony, that he's put... Yep winning trophies ahead of personal glory because let's be honest if he'd stayed at Spurs he would have become the the record Premier League goal scorer he certainly would have beaten Tony's record he might come back and do this weekend he might might have three years and come back and still do it there has been talk isn't there and I think it's um, I think it's genuine talk that there will be a buyback option for Tottenham in the contract so who knows maybe he might go and do two three years in Germany win a couple of Bundesliga and then come back and break the record Tony would you question Kane's ambition if he does end up saying no to this uh, no, because he must have a real attachment to to his club. He's been there a long time, Jim. He, he's got a great rep, uh, rep, uh, repertoire. With, I can't say it with the fans. You know, he, it, everything's there for him. You know, it's Tottenham's. Tottenham's a great club. Of he's course, got the stadium. He's got the training ground. But what's he's got more the fan base. He's not winning, tro- or winning trophies. He's not winning, winning trophies. trophies. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. You know. I mean. Harry's a centre forward. Centre forwards are very selfish in many respects, Jim. And you want the personal accolades. He wants to be the top Premier League goal scorer. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes. If he does go to Bayern, I'm not saying he will, but if he does, three years there maybe, come back and sign for Tottenham or Man United, whoever it might be, and then you can still get the, the 50 goals or whatever it is to beat Alan Shearer, which will be a fantastic achievement. But you want to win a trophy. Jim, I, I, I was just saying to the guys outside, like I, I, I had to wait 17 years to win my one and only League Cup trophy. But you play football to win medals and to win honours. That's what it's all about. You know, that's the professional football. You want to win things. Yeah. Just quickly on what Alex said about that, where the two clubs have agreed the fee, you very rarely get that far if the player... Let's put it this way. If Harry Kane's not interested, he would have told his agent, who would have told Bayern, look, don't bother. He's not interested. So there must be an interest. I wouldn't be surprised if he, you know, if he hasn't done it already. Mm. Just go and talk to them yeah. and see where you go. And if it's got this far, you would expect him to leave. Well, Personal terms probably out. already agreed, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Let's be there you go. Yeah, yeah. You would have to think. Um, if you have just switched on, it is a big breaking story developing all the time. Uh, uh, Munich have uh, reached an agreement with Tottenham to sign Kane. Uh, Tony Cotty in studio with us. We'll get to West Ham shortly, Tony. But the man who sat in that seat you're sitting in now, Tony Gareth Southgate, just a few days ago. We put it to him, how much of a loss would it be for the Premier League if Kane says yes to Munich? Actually, it doesn't concern me because wherever he is, he's he's an outstanding player and he'll he'll have a good season and he'll score a load of goals. So I think it's more of a dilemma for the player, the club. What do they do financially? You know, he's, he's at a certain point of his contract where can you afford not to take the money or can you afford... You know, can you afford to lose the player? That's the difficult thing for for the people running the football club. And you want you want the best players playing in the league if you if you possibly can. As if if you're a fan of uh, of the Premier League, we're not short of outstanding players. And for me, 
English players playing abroad is a good experience for them. So for years, we've never had players going abroad. We've got a few more going abroad now to Italy, to Germany, now to Spain. So uh, I think that's good for their individual development and they've got their own careers. And so England is always a consequence of what they do with their clubs in the end. It's not for me to dictate where they go, where they play. We'll assess where they are. We won't rule people out. We've never ruled anybody out because of the league they play in. We rule them out on the comparison with the other players in their positions. That was Gareth Southgate uh, talking about the possibility of uh, Kane going to Munich and the implication of it. This is one of the many things, Alex Group, that I love about TalkSport, the listener interaction. Tony Cotty is alongside Alex and myself. So many people getting involved in this conversation, Tony. Robin Chooksbury, all right, now's the time for Manchester United to swoop. Bayern have done all the hard work. <laughs> match the 100 million euros bid and get Kane in and he'll win trophies I agree but they've just signed the other lad is it Holland is it Holland, the, yeah, yeah. they've spent a lot of money on him and I think it's pretty obvious to everyone <laughs> Daniel Levy doesn't want to sell to another English yeah, club we no. all know that if yeah. Harry's going to leave he's got to go abroad you know I listened to what Gareth I heard parts of the interview as well he's going to play in the Bundesliga it's a good league he's playing Champions League football it's not like it's Jordan Henderson was asked to be asked about Jordan as well Jordan's playing the Saudi Arabia is it consistently a good league we don't know the answer to that sure but the Bundesliga and Champions League is Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport